Today, Anime Dungeon Fighters has updated and it has brought out some new fruits. And when I say that, you guys are probably thinking maybe a vampire fruit. You guys are maybe thinking an ice fruit. No, they brought out a Wukong fruit. Yeah, that well-known One Piece character, Wukong, has got a fruit instead of Anime Dungeon Fighters. So today, we're going to go ahead and check it out, see if it's any good. So before we get into this, make sure you guys drop a like and enjoy this weird video, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back to Anime Dungeon Fighters today. Thank you so much for the support on the last video. This game seems to never want to die, guys. It's absolutely insane. But today... There has been two brand new fruits brought out. And today we are going to be showcasing one of them in this video. I'll probably upload the other fruits showcase in the exact same day. So if you guys are interested in the other fruit, go click a video. I'll do that little thing that YouTube does somewhere on screen. But anyway, events. If you guys come over to the events and scroll down or just look on the right, there is now a Sun Wukong fruit. Yeah. And there is a Goku fruit. Okay, but today we are mainly focused on the Sun Wukong fruit. We're going to do the full showcase because if you guys don't know, Buddha fruit is currently the best in the game for grinding. It is really, really good. But today we are going to sacrifice that and we are going to go ahead and try out the Sun Wukong fruit. We'll do PvE and we'll do PvP, see if it's any good. So let me quickly go ahead and grab some of these peaches and we'll get this Sun Wukong fruit. Okay, so let's go ahead and purchase our Sung Wukong fruit. We can have three of these. And, well, let's just go ahead and equip it. Where on earth does this go? Fruit bag over here. And here it is. So it comes with a lot of abilities, actually. Pillar stance, ring of fire, gigantic, stick dance, immobilize, and pluck of many. So let's just go ahead and use this. Undo the transformation first. Oh, God. Okay. Come on, Buddha Fruit. Work with me. All right. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Sun Wukong Fruit. We need to get this leveled up a bit. But, um, yeah. Here is a move for you guys. Looking pretty cool. And if we come into the skill tree, yes, look. It comes all the way along. We need to get it to level 100 all the way along there. So, I'm going to quickly jump in. Get this leveled up a bunch. And then we're going to go ahead and check this out and see if it's any good. I hope it's really, really good. I hope at least the Goku or the Sun Wukong fruit is better than the Buddha, because I'm a bit bored of using the Buddha now. All right, and we are back, guys, and we have unlocked every single one of these moves. Level 100, and I'm just going to quickly go ahead and level up this final move, because guys, when I tell you that final move is insane, well, you guys are just going to have to go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and purchase... 2,000 more gems, so make sure you guys drop a like on the video for me. Guys, This I, I can't even, like, I, I, I'm lost for words. Listen to me. I can't even speak anymore. Let's go ahead and break that. Oh, I don't think we'll be able to max it out. We'll have to get a couple more levels on it. But we'll start off, we'll just go ahead and put just the normal moves on. So let's go ahead and unequip everything over here. We'll start off with Pillar Stance, Ring of Fire, and gigantic, right? So we're going to go ahead and do the move showcase. We'll go over into hard mode over here. Just, just to show you guys. Some moves are leveled up. Some moves aren't. I've only leveled up the ones that I think are worth leveling up. So guys, this might be the new best fruit in the game. I don't know. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I know there's going to be comments like a month later going, this man said it was like the best fruit in the game. I'm just waiting to see it. But anyway, let's start off over here. Let's group them all together so we can do it on all these enemies. And let's start off with Pillar Stance over here. So we bring out our big pillar and just do the, the big smackdown. Yeah, a bit rubbish. Now, my favorite move, well, my second favorite move is this Ring of Fire, our X ability. You make a big ring and it just does damage over time. But look at the damage it does. I mean, it is maxed out level, but it's so good. It's got big area of effect. The next move we have got is Gigantic, our C ability. Which is, yeah, it's pretty alright. It's basically just combining Pillar Stance and a little bit of Ring of Fire, but just a bit worse. Our next three moves, let's go ahead and unequip all three of these. And let's go along to Stick Dance, Immobilize, and my favorite, a Pluck of Many. Right, so let's start off with Stick Dance over here. You jump in the air and basically you fire down a bunch of your staffs, your sticks, down to the ground. That is a really, really good move. I'm not going to lie. The next move is Immobilize, which is a stun ability. So as you can see, it does a little bit of damage and stuns them for a duration of time. It's okay. And then ladies and gentlemen, you guys aren't ready for this move. A pluck of many. Basically, we spawn in another three of me. And guys, they use abilities as well. 
Yes, you heard that right. These guys attack. They use abilities. They is literally just duplicated you another couple of times. I think they have the same health as well. Same moves, same health. And I'm curious how long these guys stand for. So let's try get them through here, guys. Guys, are we good over here? But anyway, if you just stand over here, look, they use Ring of Fire. They use the first move that we used. They're just awesome. They're really, really awesome. So I'm going to get us to the boss, and we're going to try that pluck of many out again, just to see how really overpowered that is. All right, so we are at the hard mode boss, and I've put on my favorite abilities now. So here are all the guys that have spawned in. Oh, did they all just get one shot? Ah. Um, let me try that again real quick. I think they all just got one shot. Okay, well, let's try this again now, shall we? Oh, it says existing summon. Go away, go away. Get taken out. Get taken out. Okay, right. No, go, go away. All right, well, we're going to try this again. We're not on the boss, but it was a little bit glitchy there. So let's spawn in all of our guys here. They have got about two, three billion health. So it's like a third of your health. And as you can see, they are just running about using their own abilities. This is still hard mode if you guys are curious. And it looks like everything in this game is just, just a little bit glitchy right now. I'm not too sure what's happening. But anyway, that is the fruit showcase. And look how many rings of fires you can have with these guys. It's got a great area of effect. The guys are just a little bit glitchy at the minute. So I'm sure once these guys become less glitchy and the NPCs become less glitchy, then it's going to be even more insane, and it's going to be really, really good. But anyway, I'm going to jump out of there, and we're going to go ahead over to PvP and give it a true PvP test. Oh, hello, big transformer. We need to go give it the proper PvP test, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and see, well, if it's any good in PvP, because if it's not, then it'll be a little bit of a waste of time. I'm not going to lie. Right, PvP servers aren't dead, which is a positive sign. I haven't been on this in ages. So let's go ahead and see, are these little NPC enemies any good in PvP? Let's go ahead and spawn our guys in. I, I think the only downside is going to be their movement speed and the fact that they just want to stand still. But let's go ahead and try this out against all these leopard fruit users. And do you know what? It's got a pretty good survivability. Our guys just run off into the distance, but... Oh, we managed to kill someone. Oh, whoa, he's going off. Oh, my God, this guy just got double kill. Oh, my goodness, he got a triple kill? Okay, okay, my king over there is pulling... Pulling things out. Okay, well, do you know what? I'm just going to sit back, relax, sit in my ring of fire, and just let these guys do the rest of the work. Oh, my goodness, ow. Yo, is this fruit insane on PvP or is this fruit insane? I mean, the leopard fruit still just keeps you in a stun lock and there's nothing you can actually do about that. But I can just spawn in more guys if I want. And wait, this will be ridiculous. If I spawn those guys in, are they still down there fighting? Or no, I mean, they're down there. I don't know if they're fighting much though. I'm kind of curious because that could be absolutely insane if these guys just fight for you while you sit up here. Let's have a look. Come on, attack this guy. Yeah, by the looks of it, they don't really want much to do with you until you drop down. So, uh, I mean, fair play. They, they, they got that one right. But let's go ahead and use our abilities. Yeah, you guys could just see how good this is. These guys just run about. And I think the ring of fire circles are the main thing that people look for. Oh, this little noob. I feel bad. This guy's about to get absolutely... Oh my goodness, look how many rings of fires you can do. This is insane. I'm not even going to lie. This move's insane. This whole... And Wukong fruit is so good in PvP until you get caught in the stun lock by the leopard fruit. Wow. Wow. I'm really, really impressed. I'm not going to lie. Are, are those guys still fighting? I mean, they, they're taking things out. They're still running after people. Look, he's just chasing after someone down there as I'm sat up here. Okay, let's go ahead and jump down. Let's do one more round of fighting with these guys all kicking about because I am loving this fruit. This is really, really fun fruit for PvP. And these guys are too busy stun locking each other. But let's go ahead and spawn some of these guys on their heads. Get a couple of ring of fires. And you're both gone. Ah! Am I a PvP main? Am I now a PvP main on this game? Look, these guys are just going to come help me. Let's stick down a couple of ring of fires. Look, once they're in it, the amount of damage it's doing to these guys. Yeah, it's kind of nice until they all get taken out and I get flung across the map. So basically, if you guys just want to win PvP on this game, just stay near your guys like this. They'll go running after people. And you're basically using double the moves. And we just got another double kill. And if we're in this ring of fire, this guy should get taken out as well. But once you're in the stun lock, you're done. That's the only thing the leopard fruit's good for. But I'd say... 
in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, I think this fruit is much better. I think this fruit is so, so much better for PvP. But anyway, guys, I have had an absolute blast using that fruit. And I hope the PvE stuff kind of gets sorted because that was really, really fun. Spawning in loads of guys. Just go on. You guys go do your thing over there. Go take out a bunch of people. We just got so many kills in like five minutes of PvP. How fun was that? That was so much fun. But anyway, guys, keep your eyes peeled for the Goku Fruit Showcase video. We're going to do the exact same thing. Test out the Goku Fruit. Max it out. See if it's any good. But anyway, guys, let me know your opinions down below on this fruit. Is it good? Are you guys going to use it? Are you guys going to grind for it? But anyway, guys, have a great and wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Peace out.